let's go back it's a syllabus for november june and november 21 22 23 and uh, this is one of the biggest syllabus change so far uh, after the launch of this course in 2015 there were there had been minor changes but this is a major shift uh, in various aspects i'm going to first of all given going to give you a little comparison uh, uh, the last syllabus or exam was of two hours, same case here. However, it was of 100 marks and this one, if we talk about A2, which is P4 uh, theory uh, examination from 2021 onwards, it's a specific paper. Uh, the total marks uh, are 60 instead of 100 now. And uh, if we talk about section A, it's about media debates and section B is about media ecology. In media debates, there are three options and they would keep coming every year. Uh, uh, media regulation, postmodern media and power and the media. And you have to go for two options, two questions here. So either you can fix them and only learn two categories uh, as a shortcut or you can go for uh, all three of them, up to you. Uh, we would definitely start from media regulations because I have ample notes for uh, for media regulations as well as uh, regulation means we see media control or guidance and rules for media to follow and uh, some limitations as well. So as a common sense, you already have a basic idea about uh, media regulations in your country, in, in other countries uh, like in China in Europe, in uh, North Korea, in Middle East, in Iran, you know, uh, media houses are bound to follow some rules and regulations uh, that which some people think that is a hindrance to the freedom of media, but in other way, they are way to keep media on track. The government have their own opinion and uh, private entities have their own mindset about media regulations. We would explore everything in detail uh, good thing is that in previous labors, media regulation was of 50 marks, so you had to, uh, uh, your response and answers uh, had to be almost four to five pages of quality content. But since it's a 15 marks, so I guess two pages are more than enough, or uh, maybe three pages at most. And you should refer to one or more media forms. It, it means that you would be take, talking about film and maybe about video games or newspaper, but I would give you options, especially film, we would keep them in our mind uh, as, while talking about this particular question. And media ecology means new media will eventually replace uh, traditional media if you talk about this particular question. To what extent do you agree, uh, agree or disagree? Uh, we'll t uh, thoroughly explore uh, this question. So let's get back uh, to the Slabus tank, and I would like you since the first lesson, uh, this document will provide us a deep insight about the expectations of Cambridge, expectations of the examiner, and how our learning curve should be throughout the course. This is the golden key book, or whatever we call it, which will give us detailed idea. So I'm going to uh, quickly jump to certain portions of this document uh, because uh, uh, you will get this handout and or the course and you will thoroughly be able to read it. So uh, there are certain portions which I would like to thoroughly talk about. Uh, and I would want you to uh, have a deep understanding of these. First of all, the aims of this uh, course, what skills should be developed in you after doing A-level media studies. Uh, you would have developed uh, the critical understanding of international media through engagement with media products. You will get critical understanding uh, of applications of practical skills. You will explore production process which involves uh, mood board, questionnaire, script, screenplay, nine frame analysis, and then uh, call sheets, you can say uh, location scouting, uh, mock shoot, final shoot, post-production, all the stages 
uh, the technicalities of uh, technology for uh, cinematography, capture, editing, lighting, sound, everything uh, uh, is expected of you to learn, uh, then develop independent research skills, uh, enjoy and appreciate the media and its role in daily lives. So these are the aims and media as in global and local media context and explore the impact of media within a variety of cultures and how it's, uh, this influences and your social values. Uh, these are the aim for this course. So after media studies, if you apply for foreign or local universities and if they, uh, you will have to write some essay or application and if you will be asked to write, what did you learn from media studies? So these are the points which you, you can say you at least explore thoroughly, especially your research skills would be uh, developed to our next uh, new level. Well, then moving on, uh, the content overview skills and understanding common to all areas of study, media forms and platforms, you will explore media case studies, uh, again, uh, practical skills creatively, uh, you will be able to play with uh, research and evaluation skills and so on. I'm going to jump on to a few other things. Uh, Candidates must study in AS, media text, technical elements, and media context. Since you are in A2, we are going to jump to the A2 part. Uh, media regulation, just like we explored media, uh, postmodern media, and power and media. So um, here it is. And media ecology. So these are the these are the uh, the component-wise assessment overview. Uh, if we talk about A2 specifically. It's 110 marks and A1 is 50 and 1500 marks. Uh, moving on. I'm skipping this part doesn't mean they are not important. You have to at least go through them thoroughly once before starting the syllabus. I'm only going to jump on to the super important parts which I can't afford to skip and or I want you to thoroughly browse with me. Media forms and platforms is for AS. I'm going to move on to the A2 part. Here it is, media regulations. Uh, obviously from now onward, we would be thoroughly exploring this whole thing and I'm recording this lesson so that you may be able to uh, revisit it and uh, watch it again and again for your better understanding. So, Media regulation consider issues of morality and decency and accuracy of content and media ownership. Everything we would be exploring it here. Candidates should study the nature of contemporary and historical media regulations, the argument for and against specific form of media regulations, the effectiveness of regulatory practices, including the ability to impose or recommend, uh, recommend sanctions or sanctions, sorry, sanctions the wider social issues relating to media regulations, the roles of media regulatory bodies and legal ethical frameworks. We would be exploring and thoroughly about all these things. Then we, later on, we will be talking about postmodern media and media and uh, ecology and so on. So uh, similarly, if you talk about uh, the practical in A2, uh, you would be having options. It's called advanced portfolio. I'm going to jumped on to advanced portfolio. Here it is. Uh, you will have options either to go for a music promotional video or a film promotional package or documentary or a short film package. Uh, obviously it's a group work and you will be uh, having a group of uh, four maximum. And uh, if we talk about, uh, you know, I normally, most of my students, go for music video because uh, um, it's, you think, they find it easy to shoot. Uh, although documentaries are very interesting, informative, and there's a lot of learning opportunities in that documentary as well. But uh, we will thoroughly talk about them when time would come. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview. You will have to do one thing uh, out of it, and it will be of uh, 50 mark thing, including the blog. So let's say if you will go for a music video, what will be in part of it? A promotion package for the release of an album, music video, the major task, together with an official social media page for the band or artist and a DigiPag. DigiPag means DVD cover. 
uh, for the album release. So you will put the, uh, the your short uh, music video, the final one. Uh, you will burn it on a DVD and you'll put the whole thing into this uh, DVD and dig, uh, digipack. The DVD design, uh, I must say, as an example, I'm gonna, gonna talk about it. And we already have talked about this uh, briefly. So uh, this is all about the overview of the course and uh, these really important, uh, you know, uh, regarding questions, common words. If they ask you analyze, then it means that you have to examine in detail to show meaning, identify elements and relationship between them. If they ask you evaluate, for example, you have to judge or calculate the quality, importance, amount or value of something. We will totally talk about them later on. Uh, I don't want to make this lesson boring or very lengthy. The only purpose was you to get you uh, familiar or make you familiar with the uh, requirements of the new course, the timing, the dynamics, uh, the paper pattern, and a little bit of the syllabus outline. And uh, we would talk about it thoroughly uh, later on. See you uh, next time. Till then, bye-bye.